Hey, Del Larson here. We all use Ableton, right? Well, most of us do, but do you bring out the most of it? In this video, I'm going to show you five pro tips how I use Ableton, and I'm sure that you will love them. So stay tuned. Tip number one. I'm sure that we all have been there basically, where we made a cool sound, for example, using Serum with a very huge effect chain after it, and how to save it, how to make a library out of our sounds. Probably you save the Serum preset, you save the rack into your library, but how will you find your sound? Because you can't listen it back, you can't audition the preset. So to solve this problem, I use ALC files. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, so let's say you just made this beautiful bass. Now what I do recently is I save this sound as a previewable clip. And how you do it is you go to the user library, let's make your folder, for example I have let's synthesize bases, and you just drag the clip to the corresponding folder, and it creates an ALC file. And once you drag it back, you can see that it calls back all the effects, the presets and everything. This is a very, very nice way to build up your own library. Honestly, I stopped saving Serum presets, I don't know, like several years ago, because this is such a cool way. Before we go forward, let me encourage you to subscribe for weekly video sound design videos and production tips. Tip number two, let's say you want to use Serum FX or even FM8 FX, but for that to use properly, you need a separate MIDI channel to trigger the FX module, like Serum FX or FM8 FX, and to send MIDI data into it. It's very, very inconvenient and very uncomfortable to set up. So let me show you how I use the external instrument tool in Ableton to speed things up. Okay, so after you drop your Serum FX, you want to group these instruments and effects, Ctrl G, and drop an external instrument and you select the track that Serum FX contains and as you can see external instrument automatically selects Serum FX. So this is the best way to use Serum FX because you won't need a different MIDI channel to send MIDI data to Serum FX because you can do all of this in one channel. Tip number three. Let's say you want to tweak your velocity curves and in most of the times it is very very inconvenient again to use it properly and to do it properly. But have you ever thought using the control knob to tweak those velocity curves? Let me show you how to do it. So as you can see, tweaking the velocity lines, velocity values is a little problematic. It's not very convenient, but what you can do, let me go back by redoing it. So what you can do is hold control and draw a line and boom, you just made a fade in. Now I changed the velocity of the kick and I didn't want to do that. So let me redo it. What you can do is zoom in, select only the nodes that you want to tweak and the same hold control draw the line and boom your kick is untouched very very cool way to tweak your velocity curves i bet you prefer using drum shots instead of drum loops right because let's say it honestly drum loops are not always very flexible so this is why i made a very nice workaround to use loops and convert them into drum shot racks basically let me show you how i do it so let's say we love this groove So what I can do here is just drop it, right click on it, convert, convert drums to new MIDI track. So this won't be perfect, but the kick and the snare and most of the hi-hats are grabbed pretty well. And as you can hear, it's very cool. So what I can do here is go and find different samples for the kick and for the snare and etc. So go to my library. This is a nice kick, so let's drop it to the kick. Find a new snare. Here is the snare. Find a new hi-hat. And now all the things you need to do is just to clean up this MIDI file. Boom, it's a very, very fast and cool way to create your own drums, own drum loops using one shots. So you have this project file and you want to zoom into this area, just select it, push C and boom, you are zoomed in. And if you want to zoom out to the full view, push Shift Z and that's it. Boom, very handy. So what do you think about these tips and tricks? Did you know about them? And what are your pro tips on Ableton? Tell me in the comments, please. If this video helped you out, drop a thumbs up and subscribe, a lot more of this is coming soon. Peace!
the bass. 